the orbiting Chandra X-ray Observatory was dispatched to look into distant galaxies for black holes on a growth spurt. Those that swallow gas and stars glow hotly in X-ray light. And Chandra found them. It even spotted some in pairs. Black hole companions entwined in a dance of death. When the music ends, the pair swallows each other. That moment must be fast approaching for the largest black hole detected in the universe to date. It's a quasar called OJ-278. Radio frequency images show a second, smaller black hole moving into its lurid embrace. The gravitational pull exerted by the giant has allowed astronomers to estimate its mass at a whopping 18 billion solar masses. A monster this large and ferocious vents its rage on the surrounding universe and radically changes it. Just look at MSO 735, two and a half billion light years away. It appears invisible light to be a typical galaxy cluster. But in X-ray light, it's enveloped in a cloud of hot gas. Hollowed out of this cloud are two immense cavities, up to 600,000 light years across. Now, add in a radio image of the cluster, and you can see two concentrated streams of matter pushing out from the center. That's a giveaway that the cavities were formed by an eruption in the core of the giant central galaxy. Two jets shooting out of the galaxy have launched blast waves that plowed through the gas between the galaxies. How much energy must that take? That of several billion supernovas, according to one calculation. That makes this the largest single eruption recorded since the Big Bang. Its source, a black hole that may weigh around 10 billion solar masses. But how does a black hole, a creature famous for hiding in the dark, emit this much energy? Well, think of a black hole as the eye of a cosmic hurricane, kept rotating by all the stars, gas, and other black holes that happen to fall into it. As this matter flows in, it forms a spinning donut-like feature called an accretion disk, which works like a dynamo. The spinning motion of that disk generates magnetic fields that twist round and channel some of the inflowing matter outwards into a pair of high-energy beams, or jets. How much energy depends upon the black hole's gravity and how much matter has already crashed through its event horizon. Is this just another frightening spectacle of nature? Or is it part of a more profound process at work? <laughs>